Hello everyone, I'm Ashok. Welcome to another video on Machine Learning Data Science Terminologies series. In this video, we look into box plot. So what is box plot? Box plot is, uh, is a set statistical plot to visualize a descriptive statistics, uh, mean, median, quartile one, quartile two, minimum, maximum values. So let me take a quick example of uh, uh, some values, let's say salary of an organization A. Okay, I'm going to speculate some salaries. So I'm going to say 200 US dollars, 200,000 US dollars per annum, 300,000 US dollars, 150,000 US dollars, 90,000 US dollars, 120, 350,000 US dollars, 60,000 US dollars, and let's say 170,000 US dollars. Okay, so I would like to draw a box plot uh, to, to see how is this distribution. So I can use implementation of box plot from matplotlib, which is a base package for all the plotting in Python as PLT. And then I say, uh, yeah, I need to put this matplotlib in line. It's a PLT dot box plot. I'll say sal or a. So this is your box plot. Okay. And what does it show is take this to the one no, it's too tiny okay that's good okay all right so this is the box plot of the data which is um, the employee salaries of an org a which is in your let's say usd usd thousands per annum okay so by looking at this, I can already say that uh, the minimum salary, or do we have a minimum salary of like 30? That might be a, an error somewhere, no, 60. Yeah, of course, 50 is a minimum, so this is 60. So 60 is a minimum salary, and the maximum salary is 350. You can see that this is max, this is max, and this is minimum salary. And this is your quartile one or Q1. This is your quartile two. Q2 or simply known as median. Median is 50 percentile mark, which is quartile 2. And this is your quartile 3. So what do these quartiles actually mean? It means, let's for example, let's say quartile 1. Quartile 1 is around, let's say, 110. So Q1 is equal to 110. What does it mean is about 25% of the people in your organization have a salary less than or equal to 110 so 25 percent people so in our case how many people we have in our distribution one two three four five six seven eight so out of eight members 25 percent is two two members are below or equal to 110 so two members are below or equal to 110 you can visually see that there is 90 there is 60 these are the only two numbers below 110 so that's your quartile one quartile two for example in this case is let's say 160 or 155 and uh, this is also known as median which is a middle line this means that 50 percent of your employees have a salary less than or equal to 155 let's look at it we have eight members all together so how many are less than 155 well, one this is this is this is one this is two this is three and this is four so as said four members are actually less than 155 Similar manner, Q3 means uh, quartile 3, which is 75 percentile mark, percentile mark, which means uh, 75 percentile people uh, or 75 percent of your uh, total number of people in your in the distribution or the, the data in the distribution are below this number, only 25 is above this number. So this gives a visual, visual idea of how is your histogram, how is your distribution of the data, and it's very powerful. If you know how to interpret the data, the box plot, and looking at the block plot, you already know these deviations and how the data has been distributed around your uh, around your centers, the central measure of central tendencies. We also can see what is the variation, which is like you know the Q Q3 minus Q2, Q1 is called as inter quartile range. Inter quartile range. So I shall write it out here. So Q3 minus Q1. is called as interquartile range. 
it's a useful measure let's say i want to talk about the working class the, the, the middle class which uh, so i'm not interested in the people who are below 25% or above 25% and the middle ones and that range is given by the interquartile range if your interquartile range is less in a company then you can say that most of the middle management or the middle level people um, or have a very less variation within the salaries so uh, which means the organization is very flat right if you go to the western european countries uh, netherlands especially where i worked pretty long you see that interquartile ranges of the companies are pretty 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 less because the salary deviations are less if you if you go to the companies like india or developing countries even in us uh, the interquartile range is very high which means the company is very hierarchical and there's a large deviation between the salaries working in the people and sometimes it's beneficial because a larger uh, deviation motivates people to work harder so that they want to go up in the ladder and if the the, the range is very less then typically if you are aggressive culture then you don't really see much benefit of working hard and moving up in the ladder okay so that's the kind of interpretation so interquartile range also tells you a lot of information especially in this use case of salaries okay that's your box box plot box plot gives you a visual representation of uh, descriptive statistics with respect to q1 q2 q3 q2 being the median also maximum minimum so you can visually understand the distribution uh, of the data all right that's your box plot thank you for watching if you like this videos please subscribe to the channel click notification and i'll see you in the next video